Terrifier from 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another horror slasher movie coming at you guys on the channel here today. The last one to kind of finish out spooky season. I know we're close to December. I know we're in November, but regardless, we still got to check out one more movie, man. You know, I have a soft spot for slashers, for horror films. I absolutely love them. This one is a little bit more low key, I would call it. I haven't heard about this too much. I've seen a few people did reactions to them, man. And I looked at some reviews and it seems like it's going to be different. It's going to be interesting. And I love finding this little odd ball obscure kind of movies man i don't think this is from a big movie studio when i think of horror halloween stuff the first thing i think of is scary clowns man and that's what this one is it seems like it's going to be a slasher movie about a clown i think there is a number two that came out semi recently back in 2021 i want to say about two years ago so maybe we'll end up checking that one out in the future but regardless i'm here for the first one guys i'm excited for it so i'm gonna stop wasting time we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie before we do i do ask for you guys on the new channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below what you guys want to see next man drop a like on the video for your boy full reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff noon if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie now when we left off we were talking about the moment you woke up from the coma do you remember your initial reaction when you first saw your face Oh my God. And it's really difficult for me to deal with that, so isolation is ideal. No, what about your attacker? The man identified only as Art the Clown. Art the Clown? Surrounding his supposed death. The authorities issued a statement claiming that his body disappeared from the county coroner's office the morning after the attack. He's dead. I saw it happen. Shit! Dude. Her face scared the fuck out of me. I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect her face to be that messed up. I wonder what happened. Like, how does that even, how does that even happen, man? Oh my God. Is that someone's hair? What kind of little makeshift weapon? I actually came this close to this Halloween. I was going to dress up as a clown, sit on my front porch and scare kids when they came, you know, and we're trick or treating, but your boy had to edit. Did you watch it? Oh my God. I thought she was going to attack me. Damn, bro, that's fucked up for her to say as the interviewer. Babe, do me a favor. If I ever look like that, promise me you'll put me out of my misery. You think I'm kidding? I'll do it myself. What a piece of shit. But he thinks the ratings are gonna go up big time. Oh, bro. What did it say the name of the clown was? Art? You better come for her. Shit. Hey, can I call you back? I have like 50 people calling me. Okay. All right, love you too. Is that actually playing in the room or is that just sound for the movie? Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god bro the effects holy hell i'm about to throw up <laughs> what, are you doing? what the I think I just my head. was it just because she was talking Stop, shit really? those effects man oh i'm fine give me the keys give me the keys no, no i don't oh shit i'm gonna pawn you like you right, really good. Really give me what right i want now. okay 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 you try Thank you. Oh, man. Holy shit. Yeah, that's not funny. I'm about to scream. Hey, handsome. Oh, cut it out. My friend wants your I'm number. I'm fucking kill you. Oh, my God. His face is terrifying. He'll drive us home. I'm sorry. She's drunk. That's got to be the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Damn, man. I think I saw that exact same uh, clown costume, too. So this is what it's from, I assume. This guy wants me to meet him at his apartment right now. What a shocker. <laughs> oh, shit. That menacing stare. That is so fucking creepy. Are you okay? <laughs> I think we should get our food to go. Uh, no. Excuse me. Can I get a picture with you? Don, come on. Shut up. I would not be leaving this place. I would stay in public as much as I can. Oh yeah, you're just up in the 
she just seal in her fate. Aw. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the way he tipped it. <laughs> yes. You two okay? Oh, he's harmless. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. See what I mean? You do not want to leave. Like, you want to stay around people. The second you leave, you screwed. I will say that pizza looks good, though. That bag. What do you think is in it? You better go look. Food. Bag. Left his bag. And don't come back. Ramon, grab a mop and some bleach. Are you okay? A mop and some bleach? What happened? What did he do back there? I'm telling you, that guy totally whacked off in there. He was obviously turned on by you. You're fucking sick. What? Look at your ass. Oh, Jesus Christ. Eh, I still had the ring. Well, are you okay to drive? Huh, yeah, trust me, that sobered me right the fuck up. <laughs> oh my God. What? Your tire. Fuck me. Slashed. Give me your phone. I'll call my sister. Did. Yo, Clown went and slashed their tires. I better get overtime for this. No joke, this is disgusting. Got me cleaning piss and shit at one o'clock in the morning. Spelled Art for his name, Art the Clown. You hear me? Oh no. Dude, did Steve get killed, man? I have to be up in five hours, Tara. Yeah, I, I know, Vic, don't bother. I didn't realize you had a test. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, on that note, I will go pick you up. Should I just let you drive? But as usual, you have to be the good Samaritan, so here we are. Like a couple of assholes. <laughs> Bro, I would have that car started and the doors locked in case I see that motherfucker pulling up. I'm flooring it, flat tire and all. Steve! Steve got taken out, man. Is that his head? Oh my god! Oh, fuck! Dude, these visuals are amazing. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Damn! Oh my god, he doesn't even go for the kill shots. He wants them to suffer. The way he kept staring at us with those dead eyes. What was in that bag? Probably bodies. Or pieces. He's gone, and you're never gonna see him again. So cut the shit, because you're starting to freak me out. Damn, is that his tongue? Dude, the effects are so good in this. I love it. Maybe that guy has a bathroom that you can use. Who? That creepy guy, who just got out of that even creepier looking building. <laughs> Tara. She's really gonna ask him. Oh my god, she's like anything but the clown. Sorry, I don't own the place. I'm not supposed to let anyone in here. Please, mister, it's an emergency. Just let her use the bathroom, for God's sake! Don't make it worth your while! I'm sorry, she's drunk. It's... It's been a long night. All right. Just make it quick, okay? Thank you. Ain't no way this is Art the Clown outside of his costume, right? Sweet. This place looks abandoned too, bro. The second I step in here, I'm like, all right, never mind. I, I don't gotta go. All clear. You sure? Rat free. What if one crawls out of the toilet? I'd make it quick if I were you. Do rats do that? I know snakes do sometimes. You remember how we came in? I remember. Okay. Well, um, you have a nice night then. You too. Dude, is this, is this the clown, man? This is like the creepiest fucking place ever. Dude, piss in the street, man. Go pop a squat behind the alley, something. Fucking, you're really gonna go in here? Two employees at the Deer Hills Pizzeria were found brutally murdered just moments ago. The police are on the lookout for a tall, thin man wearing a black and white clown costume and carrying a large garbage bag. No way. An eyewitness spotted the suspect after hearing multiple screams. No further details at this moment. Stay tuned and we'll continue to bring you more breaking updates as they become available. Tall thin man too, bro. I mean, that guy wasn't really tall. That had let her in to use the bathroom, but still. Oh my God, you're never gonna believe what I just it's heard clown. on the video. Oh, fuck. Dude, and she's in this creepy ass building too. 
I don't give a fuck. That's not my baby. I'm out. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Holy shit. You're really going to like it here. This is my daughter, Emily. Say hello to the pretty young lady. She crazy. I have to find the landlord. The first month's rent is due and I don't want to be late. You don't want to anger her. You don't want to anger her. Just keep her calm. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can hang out for sure. Let me just go check on this. The motherfucker on something. Oh, fuck. I kept thinking jump scare. Oh my god! And he's just fucking sitting there like that. Holy shit! God damn! Oh, and she's trapped in here with this bitch? Oh, fuck no. Shit. Yeah, I felt that coming. <laughs> Ooh. You better start sprinting. Oh, don't go under the car. Oh, that smile. Oh. I'm sorry, I, I'm nervous. <laughs> Fuck! I told you, shit! Damn, he cutting her shit up! Oh! Fuck! Oh, she's screwed, bro. She's screwed. Just like the lady at the start. I mean, she was a survivor of it, right? So he must have gouged her eyes out too and she still somehow escaped. Because that's what she did to the interviewer lady. Now you gotta run up and bink! Knock that motherfucker out. Dude, she got got good. <laughs> oh no! Happy Halloween, boys! Oh, dude, I thought for sure that we were gonna see that dude's face just pop around the little toolbox she was sitting behind. Oh my god, terrifying! You gotta just go after that dude when you have the drop on him like that. The second you turn around, I'm popping. I'm bink! I'm swinging for the fences, bro. That was your plan. You saw it was locked. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm limping too from being stabbed. Oh no. And this other dude that's in here, he has headphones in, so you're not even gonna be able to hear her. Mister! Help me! Oh, no. Mister! <laughs> that got me, bro. Son of a bitch. Oh no. That jump scare got me so bad, man. My heart. Just a simple facial expression. Dude, not the saw. I feel like the saw is even worse than the hammer. Oh my god, oh my god. Dude, he's just fucking with her. Maybe this is why he's called the Terrifier. Or the movie's called the Terrifier, because he's called Art the Clown, right? Maybe his thing is he likes seeing people in fear, right? Seeing them terrified. And that's why when she stopped, he didn't do it. Oh, shit. Probably see that saw her in half. Shit. Dude, that might be one of the most insane scenes I've ever seen in any movie. Holy shit. Straight down the... Oh my god. You better... Bro, you keep running. Yes. Fight this fuck. Why? No. God. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, her sister's here too, dude. Her sister's gonna get got. This gets creepier and creepier too throughout the movie because there's more blood on him, you know? Hey, yo, he can take a hit. 
Come on, motherfucker! You better keep going and stop talking that shit. Get up! You asking for it. You asking for it. Ah! Oh, shit. I told you. I told you. Damn. You should have stayed on him. Did he kill her? Or was that next to her? Oh, shit. She did get shot in the face, but she is still alive. What? I feel like it's unfair for the slasher to have a gun. That's cheating. Oh, it's D's phone, huh? Oh, no. He's gonna go after her. With their hat. Wow. This is so different, too, than all the other slashers, because this seems like it's just a person inside of this clown costume, right? Whereas, like, you know, Freddy, Michael Myers, Jason, they're all, like, kind of supernatural. Taking a selfie with her now. Payback. Ain't that some shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, okay. So this isn't like his little hideout thing. He just so happened to be here, dude. I don't know what it is about this in particular. I don't know if it's the, the, the makeup, the effects, but it seems so much more brutal than all the other slashes I've watched. Oh, shit. Damn. Emily. Okay. You're scaring mommy now. He must have took her. Anyone here? Dude, Vic has some balls on her. My mommy's here. Where are you? Oh my god. This is like the depths. I wonder how long she's been staying here. Has to have been a while. Emily, it's okay. Mommy's here. Is there kindness in you? Somewhere in your heart. Have you ever felt a mother's touch? What the fuck? So messed up in the head. Mm. Is this the dude Mike had called? Before he got got? Mike, I'm outside. Every fucking door in this place is locked. Answer your phone! Hello? You about to see some shit. Dude, the way her, her she, like, she's literally sawed in half completely except for part of her skull. It's so insane. I know she's looking for her sister, but dude, fuck, man. You gotta assume she's dead. Oh, fuck. Is that the lady? Hey, okay, I'm gonna get help. That's not her. What? Oh my god. Oh shit. What in the world, bro? What did he do to her? Did he skin her? Is he wearing her body? Oh my god, he is. Look at this shit. This is disturbing. Oh no, he knows. Yo, Mike! Dude, that might be the most disturbing thing I've seen in any horror movie ever. Skinned her body, where, like, oh my gosh, man. <laughs> RIP to this guy. The baby, the fake baby, right? Oh man! Oh my god! 
What now? Bro, this is the most gruesome movie I think I've ever watched in my life. This is next level psychological horror shit, dude. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Why ain't you just doing that? Dude, this dude has taken some damage throughout the movie. He is a tank. They always are. Oh, he's still alive. Bro, he got destroyed. Please keep hitting him. Please keep hitting him. I'm going. I'm going to get you out of here. Come on. I'm getting you out of here right now. Curb stomp him. There's a phone over there. I'm going to call the police, okay? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to leave you. I promise. I'm just going right over there. Look. All the phones are dead, no? We are not staying here. I'm taking this girl to the emergency room. You just get your asses down here now. I would stay sheltered up in this room if it's locked. I would have just curb stomped the hell out of him, man. I told you. Should have either stayed held up in there or should have fucking curb stomped him. Damn! Damn it! God damn it! You better turn around and hit him! Are you going back in? Was she not just outside? Why didn't she go out to her fucking car? Does she go back out that way though? What if he's just waiting out there? Oh shit! Damn! You better run! Injured leg and all, you better get going! Look at this dude. Jamming. Oh bro, she got taken out. I thought she got out of the way. Oh, is he eating her face Police! or some shit? Don't fucking move! Nice and easy. No sudden moves. Oh, does he have his gun down there? Do it! I told you. No, oh, no, shit. no! But there's a second movie. What? What? <laughs> She's alive. She's still is this alive. the girl from the start? Is she the girl from the start? And that's why her face is all fucked up? Is she the girl from the start? How can you eat a greasy croissant while you're cutting up dead bodies? I've been doing this 22 years. All right, once you've seen an eight-month-old microwave to death, everything else is just old hat. Wow. That's dark. All right. I'll hook you up, Doc. That's my guy. Stay safe out there. No way this... this dude is still alive fuck how is he alive look literally the bullet out the back of his skull ah dude i guess it's just because he's like another slasher just like michael myers jason all of them they never die i thought this was just literally a human in a clown costume man wow so is it is again for really the doctor the he'll be in our prayers please don't mention it. One year later. We're all gonna miss this one. Well, take care of yourself, Victoria. I'll see you in a couple of months. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. That is her. So long, Doctor. You heard the voice. Goodbye. Wow, and she ended up killing that reporter. That interviewer. Oh, and uh, good luck with your interview tomorrow. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Wow! 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 I'm terrifier! From 2016 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What a movie. I This is hands down the most, if not the most, definitely one of the most brutal and gory films I have ever watched. I don't know if it was the makeup, the way they did it, 
or if it was the way it, or if it was just like their kill tactics or what like sometimes like just stabbing straight into like the skull like i feel like those are always super brutal seeing kills like that like it's different if you see it like go through the ear or the temple or like you know straight up either uh it through their mouth right it's different when you just see it straight through the top of the skull i feel like that is so brutal man oh my gosh and then sawing what was her name fucking d in half and they kept showing the body too just because I, i'm sure that took a lot you know makeup wise and and prop wise to get set up and everything like that but still man that was so brutal and the jump scares in this got me so much there was one toward the start i think when uh when tara was like around all the cars that had got me super super bad that shit got my heart pumping so much man but this is an amazing fucking movie i don't know why i don't see this talked about more or heard about more you know what i mean like don't get me wrong you can obviously tell i don't want to say it has like an indie film feel to it but you can tell it's not from a giant movie studio which isn't a bad thing man you know what i mean some of these movies from these smaller studios and stuff turn out fantastic and again like i said i know there is a number two out there that came out i think in 2021 i want to say i definitely will check that out at some point hands down like going into this movie is like hey maybe i'll check out the second one we'll see how i feel but after watching this definitely gonna check out the fucking second one man it this was fantastic it got me with some some jump scares it got me with the tension building like this movie had great tension building too which i love in horror movies i don't love just you know cheap jump scares those are good to have here and there which i feel like this movie had a good mix of cheap jump scares just like holy shit what am i watching moments and tension building moments but i feel like i had a good mix of everything man and that that's what a horror movie should be it shouldn't just be straight tension building or straight jump scares you know what i mean it should have a combination of everything in it and i guess that's why it's called terrifier it seems like for the most part this dude you know art he doesn't like to just kill his victims per se he was literally trying to terrify them which is why he had tara watch d be killed he had her in the chair and it's like the second she stopped being scared he switched to another thing to see if she was scared of that and this and that the way he was coming at vic when she was hiding inside the cabinet and he pointed at her like i know you're in there type deal the way he rode his bike around like there's a level to him that seems like he just enjoys scaring people now the other thing i will say i thought originally this was just a human in a clown costume right but obviously it's so much more than that now that we see the dude literally blew his brains out and is still alive so it's obviously so much more than that i want to go I, I don't know what number two will necessarily go into i don't know if they'll ever go into it what he is or who he is so to speak you know what i mean or if it's just because it's one of those slasher things where they can't be killed essentially no matter what like freddie jason and michael myers for the most part which i wouldn't mind that either but i really enjoyed the movie i think it was fucking fantastic the jump scares got me the gore got me Definitely gonna be checking out number two. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing if you guys wanna check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys wanna see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance full length reactions and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel but i hope you guys all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one